Hiruta takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I can make my reading time any better, it's a cup of tea. Not to mention yourself. She stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, kind of with a, oh, kind of with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. She hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this to the teacher's desk and I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk and I watch her movements to my surprise. The way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, she reappears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Might as well walk with you, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Huh. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Okay, sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes passed, Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Uh-oh. Let's see. The most logical place would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha 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 ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> I start inhaling something sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach out to the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh my god, look! Yeah! I reached the corner and I sharply inhaled something. Look, yeah, look, you saw her arm was covered in cuts? You saw that, right? I'm back. So they revealed her arms all cut up, but now she's back. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Kilsama, do you like oolong tea? Yeah, anything is fine. Very well, you reset the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to set the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less that, uh, I shouldn't do any less than when making tea for others, even though I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out, it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Okay. Ah, oh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Philsama. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Philsama, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Hey, why's that? It was a little easier on my back. I can move my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly because of my, ah, uh, my, your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Oh, uh, yes. I have terrible reading posture. I guess that's not really it. That's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Oh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As of in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can, can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until her shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup, holding it with my hand that's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression. I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on the reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Oh, sorry. I re really go with the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Oh, that's, that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well... If I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Alright, that is really silly looking. 
<laughs> Look at that. I put the juggle in her mouth. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Filsama, sorry. I guess I should have shouldn't have done that. Oh! Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. Filsama, suddenly she grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Filsama, my heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Filsama. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Filsama? She presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. I even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh my god, her eyeballs! Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Ooh! 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 Ah! This is creeping me out, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank God Monica's back. Thank God she's back. Fuck, man. Jesus Christ, that scared me. <laughs> okay. It's time to share poems. All right. Good Lord. Her eyes were so scary, dude. Fuck. Okay, let's go in order. Natsuki. Yeah, just as I thought. Phil Soma, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's pathetic. Why are you even in this club? Honestly, I thought getting a new member would help prevent everyone would get everyone more involved, not exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today and I just don't feel like talking right now. Go away! <laughs> wow, what about Monica? I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I don't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. She just told me that she's a cutter. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. Now we already know from the previous run that she does have a collection. Why is she telling you this is the question, right? I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. Wow. This game is fucked up. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, at least I have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Whoa, this is way different. Look. Save me the colors they won't. Bright beautiful. There's missing letters. Flashing is be piercing. Red, green, blue, and in the cacophony of meaningless noise. Yeah, there's letter entire letters missing. Whoa, wait a minute. The noise won't stop. Violently grating. Speeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. What the fuck? Delete her! Whoa! Delete! 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 <laughs> this is getting nuts, dude. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, uh... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision, and when that happens, don't forget to save your game. Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Oh, okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. This game is getting weirder and weirder. All right, now we gotta talk to Yuri. Good Lord. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Phil Sama, this one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up, the, pick up this so quickly? Yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Oh my God, anyway. Uh, Gonta did nothing wrong says I should save my game because Monica told me to. Alright. What the hell? The original game... The original save game is missing. Look, the, my save file is completely erased. It's gone. The original save file is gone. Alright, let's save here. What happened? They deleted my save. What the fuck? Okay. 
Anyway, maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining it. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. What the hell? You're visibly, you're visibil, you're, you're visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ah, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm v valued, Philsama. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual concealing my emotions. Oh boy. <laughs> well, Zala says, it's your PC, Phil. She's in there. I'm kind of embarrassed, but right now I just want you to read my poem. Your poem too. Okay. Oh my god. This was not her original poem. Just listen to this. Oh my god. Wheel. A rotating wheel turning on axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tilted to a thick rope, tied to a thick rope, excuse me, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, chime controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all human, living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes. I'm not done, I'm not even halfway done. Exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 years and a kicking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time devouring prayer connecting the sky, 40 gears open, human eyes at all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head. Breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing stakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Do you have any idea what's going on? He doesn't know either. We're, we're both very confused. <laughs> what the hell, man? Wow.